A New York City bodega clerk involved in a deadly stabbing is claiming self-defense. That's right. 61-year-old Jose Alba was arrested on second-degree murder charges. Surveillance video shows Alba in a fight with a customer who went behind the counter. Alba fatally stabbed the man, but he told our New York City station, using his daughter's help to translate, that he was defending his own life. He was put in a position where, you know, he, he couldn't tell how, how it was going to end. He was just defending his life. Yeah, he feels unfair that he got arrested. Because he was defending himself. CBS News' Ali Bauman joins us now. She spoke with Jose Alba at his home. So, Ali, when you spoke with Mr. Alba at his home, considering all the attention that this case is getting right now, how was he feeling about what transpired? Right. Well, he said he's sad about what happened, but he told me that he felt that it was either his life or Austin Simon's life, the, the man who died. He did. He clearly, clearly is very upset and is very shy about the attention because he didn't want to show his face on camera. He didn't want us to really, even though his name is out there, the video is out there all over the place, he wanted to somewhat remain a little bit hidden behind that because he didn't want this. He didn't necessarily ask for this attention, but he did say that he is grateful and a little bit surprised by all the support he's been receiving by New Yorkers and by people all around the country. So Mayor Eric Adams has suggested that Austin Simon's girlfriend should face charges of her own. How is she involved in all of this? Right. So this all started because, according to prosecutors, Austin Simon's girlfriend was in the store with her daughter trying to buy a snack. Her card was declined. So according to prosecutors, Alba took the snack back from her daughter. Those two leave and then her boyfriend, Austin Simon, comes back in, and that's when he goes behind the counter, and this all happens. Now, during this altercation, at some point, she comes back into the deli, and you can see on camera that she pulls something out of her purse. He, Alba says it was a knife. It's hard to see, and it's hard to tell on the video what exactly it was, but she pulls something out of her purse, and while the two men are struggling over the box cutter that was the fatal weapon, she attempts to stab Alba in his shoulder. And we see when we were speaking to Alba that he did have a stab wound on his shoulder as well. Mm -hmm. So, all right, we do know that the Manhattan District Attorney is under a lot of pressure now to drop these charges against Jose Alba. A lot of people, like you said, seem to be rallying to his defense. Uh, what is the status of this case? The status of the, of the case right now is that Alba's out on bail. He was on Rikers Island. He was in jail for about five days on $250,000 bail. Five days after he was arrested, both the district attorney's office and the DA's or and his defense attorney asked the judge together to lower the bail, which is quite unusual. They asked the judge to lower the bail. The judge granted it, so he was released on $50,000 bail. That's partly paid by him, partly paid by his boss, actually, at the deli who helped pay for his bail. So he's out now. As you said, the mayor has spoken to the DA about this case. A group of Delhi owners in New York City have met with the district attorney about this case, asking him to drop the charges. But at this point, the district attorney maintains that he's still reviewing the evidence of the case and he's not making any decisions at this point. And Alba's due back in court July 20th. Okay. Mm. We know you'll continue to follow it. Allie Bauman, yes. Allie, thank you very much. Thank, thank you. Allie.